Yo, what is up? So today I'm going to show you how to generate real estate leads for literally $2 per lead without spending uh, hours and hours like on courses, hiring these lead gen companies and paying them thousands just to do this simple thing. So today I'm going to show you step by step how to create the ad, how to get a picture on there and what kind of, what kind of stuff you pretty much just put there. So what kind of stuff to write pretty much just the whole badaggle badaggle. So let's get straight to it. So right now I'm in one of my clients accounts. So all you want to do is just log into Facebook, go to the ads manager. And this is where I'm currently at. So once we're here, let's pretend you don't have anything set up. And as you can see for him, I'm generating around $3 and 40 cents. That's as time goes by the cost per lead will increase. It usually caps out at like around four to five dollars, but in the beginning stages, you'll start getting around like one dollar, then two dollars. So you can really take advantage of that. So right now, let's do first thing you want to do is the simple, the better. So right now, we're just going to do a lead campaign. We're just going to click continue, click leads, then continue, and then let's just name it. Uh, right here, I'm gonna provide you guys with some templates. If you guys want, I'll link them down below. I'll just put the the link there so you don't all you have to do is just copy and paste copy and paste so pretty much we'll name this campaign homeless lead form and since and since we are in real estate we got to put the housing category now we go to the ad set right now we were in the campaign so if you want to move to the ad set you can click here the ad set or you can just click next so on the ad set, same thing. Excuse me, I just had a Diet Coke. And like, you know, you get pretty gassy. So let's go now to the ad ad set. Ad set. <laughs> now we just copy and we're going to paste it here. And for example here, as you can see, like the all caps, you put your city here. For example, if you're in uh, Dallas, Texas, we're just going to put Dallas. And this is just so you know, once you're little, you know, like what this campaign's about. So for starting price, we can put, depending on your market, you know your market the best. So I'm just gonna put like 350 here. Okay, once we name it, we're gonna make sure if instant forms are clicked, we're gonna click our Facebook page. I'm just gonna click your Facebook page, cool. Make sure you accepted the terms, this one's already accepted. So now we're gonna go to budget. As I said, you're gonna spend around, uh, caps out around $5 per lead. So I have 15 here because I'm, uh, I don't want, I just like 15, but either way, just put whatever you feel comfortable with. For example, you can put, I feel comfortable with just spending $8 per lead. Just put $8 per lead, keep it simple. No end date, we don't wanna put an end date. And we're just gonna leave this as open. Why are we doing this, George? So we're gonna leave it as open because we just want to get it. We're gonna we want to get up and rolling because mostly it's just about getting the ads started. And Facebook is really good at targeting the people that you need to. And then later on, I'll make a video on how to play around with the targeting. So right now we're just trying to get up and rolling, trying to get some leads so we can start making some money fast. So that's why we're not gonna do any targeting. We're not gonna play with it. The only thing we're going to do with targeting is the location. That's it. We're not going to play with anything else. I do got to put the targeting, which is uh, right here, location, which is Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas, Dallas, Texas, Dallas, Texas. We're going to leave it at 15 miles. Cool. Cool. There we go. So once again, just to recap on ad sets, name it, instant forms. Whatever you feel comfortable with, eight dollars. But don't over exaggerate and put one dollar. <laughs> okay, and then the the city, fifteen mile radius. Cool. We're gonna keep scrolling down. Don't play with anything else. We're gonna go to manual placements, and we're just gonna pick the OGs, the ones that you know are going to work. So we're just gonna unclick everything else. And again, we spent thousands of dollars, so we know these bad boys work and it's Facebook feed and Instagram feed placements. So we're just gonna pick the OGs and now 
we're going to go to the ad level. Once we're here at the ad level, we're going to copy and paste this ad name. And again, I'm going to give you this exact template so you can just copy and paste the stuff, which is the same copy that I'm using for all of my clients. And you can just copy and paste it and start getting some leads quick. So for city, you just put the same one you put on the ad set, which is Dallas. I put Dallas. I'm just going to put 350K here. Oh, it's over. Kate was already there. And for creative, I just like putting whatever I'm about to do. For example, right here, I'm going to put four picks, which I'll explain that in a minute. I'm going to put four pictures right here. Just put the Instagram account. Make sure they're both clicked. Cool, cool. And again, if you're having any issues with these integrations, just comment them down below. I'm more than glad to help out. So it's all cool. So picture, make sure you click the Facebook page and Instagram account. Now we're going to scroll down a little bit and we have the media here. Just remove whatever's there. And uh, you want, you're going to have to create your own, right? So the way I edit stuff, which is a free Canva, you probably already heard of it. It's pretty famous. So we're going to use Canva and we're going to get our pictures from pexels.com and they're non-copyright. So you can pick pretty much whatever you want. And one huge thing that I would say is, you know your market the best, so you know what houses really look or are relative to your area. So don't pick like a lake and you're like at, uh, at a desert kind of spot, you know? So make sure you keep that in mind. So once you got like, you can, you can either choose one picture, but I would choose four as I see, as you, have, as you see here. I put one on the top right, a house on the top left, and I put two interior pictures, one on top left and one on the bottom right. And this is how I have mine. Again, you can just pick whatever pictures you like and just put them there. And once you have your thing, oh, another huge tip is, so whatever price range you put here, for example, I put 350K, right? Make sure the houses kind of look like 350K. They could look a little bit better, but if you put like a mansion there, you're gonna get some hate comments, like, like really bad. So make sure they're kind of in between that price range. So once we have that done, we got our pictures. Let me just download it. Let's download it real quick. Let's call it test. Download. Download. Cool. We're going to upload. We have it here. Wait, we just got to let it load a little bit. Just put next, next, done. Remember, don't play around with anything. Just keep it simple. So once we have that, we upload it. Now we go back to the template and copy and paste this. Go to primary text and all you have to do is just change the city. And Dallas, Dallas. Dallas, and then we're going to put 350 here. Dallas, Dallas. And as you can see, this copy is, I wouldn't say it's really, but it's kind of provoking when it says hot and the market is not really hot. Uh, it will have some of that kind of stuff. But again, if you want to get the best results, you will piss some people off. And if you don't want to piss anybody off, you will get less results. That's pretty much what balance you want to be at. You want to get good results. You want to get a lot of leads. And yeah, so if you're like, oh my God, I don't want people commenting. Back. Like that's part of the, of the advertising game. You will get some comments that don't like what you're posting. And that's okay. I promise you it's okay. They're just having a bad day, they don't like what they're seeing. So just know that you're okay and that there's nothing bad going on. So once we get that, once we copy and paste, change the city and the price range, we're gonna go back to headline. We're just gonna copy and paste the headline here. We're just gonna put a 350. And again, this is the exact same copy I use. Obviously I changed some of it for uh, my clients, but this one will crush for you. It's going to crush. So, and there we go. 
again we're gonna click the OGs we're just going with the OG stuff that work boom we're done you're like there's no way we're done yeah you're done you're the ad is done so now last thing is sorry that diet coke man so now we just got to create the instant form so just click create new continue and then I also bonus I gave you another template which is specifically for the lead form which is the lead form will be used to collect people's information that click on your ad isn't it that cool so this lead form template that I provided for you is the purpose of it is for volume you want to get as many people as possible so this is how this was structured so let's set this up we're just going to copy and paste same thing lead form right here Dallas Three hundred fifty k more volume. Cool. Use image on ad. We want to make sure this one's clicked because we're going to be running different ads with this same form. And the cool thing about this is once you set up this form, you'll never have to set it up again because you're going to use it for all of your ads. Once you start creating new ones, all that good stuff. So now we're going to put the headline. Headline here. Awesome paragraphs we're just gonna put this Dallas questions all we want is full name email phone number so if you want the most amount of leads I would go with oh make sure we take off prefills and we put our own questions because most of Facebook stuff is not legit you know because if you put prefill questions Facebook is just gonna collect whatever info is on their Facebook account. It could be old, it could be fake, or uh, it's pretty much just bad data. So we want to force them to input it. So first one is full name, email, uh, then phone number. Cool. Description, go back to the flu free form. We're just going to copy and paste this. Home. Hold up, hold up. Cool. Just want to make sure we don't have anything there. And for privacy link, we're just going to put, just put your name. For example, let's put John Cena, if your name is John Cena. And just go to your IDX website that your broker provides. Or if you don't have a website, just go to your broker's website and just copy and paste the privacy link. If you get sued, it's not my fault. Just saying. I doubt you get sued, though. Promise you, nobody's gonna. I mean, don't wanna make any promises, but just put whatever link you have here. And if you use your broker's link, just ask him, and I'm pretty sure he'll he'll be cool with it. It's not like he's gonna be no. I don't want you to get more business. So once you get that, you're straight. So now we're just gonna go scroll down a little bit down, and we're just this is the headline. We're just gonna copy and paste. Paste. again the goal the true goal of this video I made it is so you can get your ads up and rolling up and running get leads going and start generating business like in a matter of minutes so I made it super simple no targeting that was probably the main goal I mean not Probably that was like the main goal. So boom. Oh, right here. Cool. Let me clarify that. So right here, we're going to be, we'll be in touch today. And sorry about that. So we'll be in touch today. And right here, we're going to be, I'm excited to get in touch with you shortly. In the meantime, tap below to visit our home to listen in Dallas. So that was what the ad was about. So if you do have an IDX website, you probably know you can set up like a filtered home search and for that city for that price range and then you just copy and paste that link and you just put it here 
makes sense. And if you don't have an IDX website, here's a little hack. We're just going to go, let's use realtor.com. Let's just use realtor.com. Let's say I chose Dallas, right? So we're just going to click Dallas. We're going to put price range minimum. We're going to put 350 because I put 350 here, right? Makes sense. And then we're just going to copy and paste this link. I'm just going to put it here. So for example, if a new person uh, taps on the ad, then they tap on the, on the link at the very end. This is what they're going to get. They're going to get their homes list for Dallas, Texas, starting at 350K. We're pretty much just saving them time. And once they do that, now do you have their link? Cool. So now that's it. Once you publish your lead form, you're just going to click here. I don't want to publish it because I don't want to save it. Uh, and then we're just going to click publish on the ad down here once you set that up. And boom, Google's going to review it. It's going to take around 24 hours or less. And that's it. You're going to get some leads rolling in. That's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, I went too fast. I didn't clarify anything uh, that you wanted me to clarify. Just let me know down in the comments. I hope this was cool and allows you to get leads without wasting time like on courses or these lead gen companies. So yeah, let's take action. Let's get, let's, let's get some leads going. Let's get some money going. And take care.